Hello, YouTube. I'm Draven. This is my Din. Welcome back. We are playing Undercards today, and we have a special guest. Gaster explains. Huh? Yo, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> he's here, and um, just today we're gonna be playing some Undercards. Uh, this might be split into multiple videos if this goes longer than an hour. We'll just see, but um. We're going to be playing undercards against each other. We're, uh, you know, whatever. We're going to do that. <laughs> I do ha we have some, uh, some other stuff planned for, uh, for this. It's mostly just more undercards. So don't get your hopes up for anything else. <laughs> um, and put that up a little. Move that. Let's see. I think you're, uh, you're... You're a lot louder than me, so I might actually have to uh, quiet, uh, turn down your audio a little bit here, because I, I turned up your audio when I was trying to hear you. Because Bef before stream uh, and or before recording, uh, we had some issue uh, audio issues. So let me just yeah put that oh down. God, yeah, my mic comes in a bit loud even for me. So as we get like really loud on Discord, it probably just like blasts it. Yeah, <laughs> you were so loud, you, um, you, OBS automatically quieted me a bit, so, there we go, let me just quiet you a, a tad, so we, uh, we both can be heard properly, there we go, uh, say something real quick, let's see if it, uh, how it sounds on OBS, something, okay, that's good, um, there, okay, so, we're going to start because I have been going, uh, I kind of just log in daily. I don't do anything. Just, you know, it's all, 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 all of my progress has been seen on stream, guys. But um, I log in daily, so I've gotten 23 packs. 23! So we're going to start by opening these and see what we get. Let's, let's see. Uh, we'll just start with the Undertale ones. I hope I get more shinies. I've gotten a good amount of those. Ooh. We got cloning. One of three three copy of a non-determination monster. If it if it can't attack, give it haste. Mm. If it can't Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense. Um that's pretty good actually, but for What's that? Ah, I, I can't tell between the two dang different colors of blue. But, uh, okay, we got Doggo. I've seen Doggo before. He's interesting, but I don't like building around him. Like, if you had a dog-specific deck, that would probably be good, but I don't have enough dogs for that yet. Uh, we have a G-Machine. Is this... Yeah, is, that card kind of slaps. Is this supposed to be the machine that's behind, um... Sans is like thing in his workshop. Is that what this is supposed to be? I'm not sure because I think there's actually a card called Mystery Machine that is that card. I don't. G Machine might just be like a. I don't know. Maybe it's a true lab thing or it's like a fan made thing because I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, because I have never heard of the the G Machine. <laughs> that's that's Gaster's rapper name. <laughs> We got hey, it's haste, taunt, delay. If it's a dead, add a gaster blaster. Gaster blasters are so risky. <laughs> I would never use the gaster blasters. <laughs> Eight damage to a monster or just you. Like that is, you are, you are playing with fire there. Well, the thing is, it's it's not random. It's a choice. The only time I've ever seen someone chose you is they use it to creatively concede by blasting the eight damage to themselves. So I was like, wow. <laughs> That's, oh, sorry, I cracked there for a second. That's a choice? Oh, my goodness. Well, that makes that a lot better, but that is, that is hilarious. Yeah, the gaster are really good. That's hilarious that you can even choose to shoot yourself in the face. <laughs> oh, my, okay. I, yeah, I that, that person went out in style. Like, I, I had to, like, applaud for that. Yeah, definitely. He deserves that. Man, that is, that, that is, that is so funny. 
I don't. Why? Why would it even give you the choice, though? It. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Cause like, is there anything that boosts you for hurting yourself? I don't think there well, is. That, uh, that one. Sorry, my ears are just falling. It's on Delta Room. The the Viro Con, whatever it's called. That card. We'll give you plus one plus one for damaging yourself, which is not worth it. <laughs> it's only worth it for Heat's Flamesman, because then you'll take one damage and it'll buff to plus one plus one. <laughs> yeah, man, Heat's Flamesman. He he goes really good on a kindness deck because then you don't you don't even like deal with the negative repercussions of Heat's Flamesman. <laughs> he just like s spreads damage on all of your opponents and the main health of of your opponent too. And, like, everyone just heals from that. And, like, no downside. And then Fawn. I like Fawn. It, it, it's interest. I like the, the, like, random, like, ooh, what am I going to get whenever I, uh, whenever I use Fawn? Fawn's also got to be really good when they throw out, like, a really overpowered card. Or they, like, buff something, like, to an insane amount. Or you yeah. can just throw it out and then get, like, a really good card. Because that's how high their attack would be. Yeah, I like using Fawn to get a zero cost card. Some because a lot of the zero cost cards are pretty, pretty fun to use, and it's like good to just get a zero cost card that you could just immediately play for whatever you want. I don't know if it's still like accessible, but apparently there's one zero cost card you can get from RNG that basically just wins you the game. Like, <laughs> that is. There's no other way to get it. That is hilarious. I, oh, I hope that's true. It's just like you got uh <laughs> you got the glitched card. If you play it, you win. <laughs> One percent chance. It's literally like a dog and a bulldozer. It's called dog dozer or something. It's got thirty thirty health, thirty attack, and it has like charge. Oh, and so you can immediately swing. That reminds and deal thirty damage. <laughs> Man, that's cr that's funny. That reminds me of when someone toilet shredded me. I knew they were going to toilet shred me. I was like, they were playing like 50 cards a turn, and I'm like, oh no, they're going to toilet me, aren't they? But there was nothing I could do. I just kept s trying to stall him and get at it, like lower his health in time, but it was, it was too late. I knew what was happening, but I couldn't avoid my fate. <laughs> I got toileted. <laughs> the funniest like toilet interaction I have where it was like this like like a level 1000 guy I think and he was he basically got the toilet out and it was like really really late game so I didn't have much resources left and when he got it out he didn't even instantly kill me he started killing my units I guess to basically <laughs> flex on me but I had one scarf mouse left in my hand so I bombed his toilet and it lost all of the the buff stats so it just became really really weak <laughs> and then there was nothing he could do scarf so mouse like, Why? scarf mouse for the win that, or if you're a determination deck and you hold off till the end of the game just to kill Toilet with that insta kill card, <laughs> that'd be another good way to deal with Toilet. Just like, yeah, you use Toilet. You see what happens. <laughs> Kid slime. Uh. Yeah, but that person like instantly like conceded and they like went offline too. I was like, dang. And they could have won. They just like threw the game. I was like, dang. That that always feels the best when when your opponent gets cocky and <laughs> and you just like Uno reverse it on him. Yeah. Ooh, blue ra blue laser's nice. I I like that. Like oh, that that's a good Timmy killer right there. Timmy's like, I'm gonna take you out, and then you just you you put blue laser on the board. And then Timmy literally kills itself before it can do anything. <laughs> I might actually add that to my deck. Mm. It's it's Even more powerful than blue laser is purple laser. Is that a thing, or, that or are you joking with me? No, no, it's an actual thing. I think it might be a fan made card, but it's literally a laser that can plus one base attack for each card you play with seven HP, which includes other lasers. Wow. And I had a person like ramp it up like really high, and it's still four cost. It's still a four cost card. So I was like, "Oh, I'll just silence it." Oh. And then I silenced it, and it like didn't do crap because it says plus one base attack. And I was like, "Oh my god, I can't do anything." Oh man, that is that's smart. 
well, well, it's not smart. It's just it's a good card, I guess. <laughs> but oh, that is that is good. I love the lasers though. The lasers are all really good. So far, like orange laser, I love orange laser. When you can get orange laser working, oh, he does work for you. <laughs> oh, another orange laser. Speak of the devil. <laughs> It would be funnier if we if I had just gotten purple laser. Fucking. Oh, that's actually yeah, really. Is pretty good. Yeah, my brother. No, no. Yeah, my brother tried using gift bear on me, but I kind of just ruined it every time he tried. And then there was this other player I played against uh, on ranked that was also using gift bear. Um, and they were doing the cake strats, they were filling the board with cake, and I beat them, <laughs> like, every time, because I just, I don't, I don't even know how, like, their board was constantly filled with OP cards, and, like, cake, and meh, and freaking gift bear, and <laughs> I, d I have no clue how I won that. <laughs> like, I can't remember. It's on stream. One of my streams has that, me beating that person, but I, I honestly can't remember what I did. I might... It costs so much. I don't like the really high-costing cards. Because you, you, you gotta be really balanced about how many of these you put in your deck. But this sounds so good. But Fuku Fire just feels like sort of better. You know? Because it does the three damage. You just can't aim I mean, it. In game, like, the high cost cards get like really good because eventually it'll cap at like plus 10 gold for every time you pass. And then that is can true. also get excess. But a lot of the time, most, like, people will kind of beat you in the first few turns unless they're doing something like Toilet Strats. And if they are doing Toilet Strats, then then having a big card is kind of useful, I suppose. But m a lot of people kind of go for the, I'm going to kill you now <laughs> strategy. So it's like, do you hope... Yeah, Timmy's and Spantum decks really like to do that. Yeah, like, do you hope for someone to, like wait out the game or do you try to play around someone who's going to go the long uh, distance it's kind of like eh. <laughs> it's hard to build around both echo flower does a pretty good job though because if someone's playing the long game you echo what they have and it's you know <laughs> and that goes pretty well if you know you get lucky hmm. Ooh, big noise. Spider web. Whoa, okay. That's pretty good. I like spider web. Three spiders. That's yeah, spider web is really fun. I'm definitely adding that to my, um, what is this? Perseverance? No, no, no. Perseverance. The blue and the purple and the other blue, I hate it. They're all too close. <laughs> you got it right, Perseverance. This yeah. is like Harma. Perseverance. Yeah, I would definitely add that to my Perseverance deck. And then Innkeeper, pretty useful. I feel like Vegetoid is sort of just better or cheaper if you can keep it on the board, you know? Just going with Vegetoid. Because it's every turn, right? Also, I just thought of the funniest interaction. There's this one single card that Determination has that if you're at precisely 1 HP, you kill all the enemy monsters and heal yourself fully. So if you were at 9 HP and you cast your blaster yourself to 1 HP and then used it, that would just be <laughs> really goofy. Oh my... That is, a, that is actually a sort of good strat. I, I remember seeing that card, and I'm like, that sounds so OP, but when are you going to be able to use that? What situation is that going to be useful? <laughs> I, yeah, I've I hope... never actually seen that ever used. Yeah, I hope someone's gotten that before, you know, just for their sake. But I heavily doubt anyone's going to get any use out of that. MTT, it, MTT TV doesn't sound good. Whenever a card is played, give its opponent plus one gold. Doesn't that just give your opponent more money? 
it's good if like if you're just gonna pass like if that's the last thing you're gonna play you drop it down and if you're playing against somebody like Timmy's it's just gonna like flood the board you're gonna get plus one gold for each Timmy they play oh and then when it revolves back around your turn it's gonna give them gold ah okay so it yeah it it you definitely have to work around it and find a way to kill it off as soon as possible so it doesn't affect you or like if you're I guess if you're, I guess this is good for if you're gonna play big cards and only big cards, and then this would be useful. Yeah, and if opponent's running like aggro, then it's like pretty good. Ah, I was, I was confused by the wording of that card. Some of the cards confuse me with their wording. <laughs> we got cloning again. We got rock, which is a pretty good taunt card. I'm. It's something I might add, actually. It's a bit expensive, but... Eh, I don't actually need it, since I have... I have plenty of taunts. Um... That's pretty good. Well, no, because it only does one damage. <laughs> and it only has five... And, like, I don't know. Unless you're, like... It's damage taken... So if it took like ten oh. damage, I think it would have been like ten HP. Takes damage, but oh. it still it still does like nothing. Like, yeah, it's not really gonna like remove a card. It's way too well. expensive for, for what it is. Costs. Yeah, this 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 one should definitely be like I don't know four or three cost to make up for its um because because it's kind of just like a worse version of Bunny Inn. If you take it as what it as its base, you know, so in, in a sense. I mean, they could they could probably make it like a nine or ten cost if they just like boosted the stats like really well, that's, and then it could like heal. That's and true. Move. It's either it's either you you deb it's either you buff it by like boosting its stats, or you deb buff or or you or you buff it by lowering the cost. I might monsters take plus two damage from gemstones. Oh my goodness, that is really good. Oh, that makes me want to make a gemstone deck so bad. <laughs> it adds one to your hand as well when you play and when it does. Yeah, but you'd have to have a, a, a regular gemstone in your hand if you wanted to synergize it with the signpost, because then you could infinitely use the gemstones. Oh my goodness, that is that is that is OP actually. If if I just had if you if I could just get gemstone now, play that, play sign late game after you save up some money and then you clear everything off the board and then you just start chipping away at their main health health pool that's super good you just have to like have a good taunt to keep these from dead uh, from dying that is really good dog slots we were just talking about this like yesterday oh you got a legendary yeah you got dog slots like that's convenient. What? <laughs> Snow frisk. Okay, so this is just like. This is actually better than rock. Rock has more HP, but this is cheaper. And for a, for a taunt card, that's basically two taunt cards. Well, no, it's actually not. This one doesn't have taunt, actually. So never mind on that. But this is still pretty good, because like, uh, you could you could just make it attack and do it itself. That's still pretty decent. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like lamp. This is pretty good. I love a good cheap card. I need more. I need more memory heads, just to replace more froggets and whatnot. This one's shaking. We got a shiny. Woo! Is there any point to the shinies, or or is it just like you got a shiny? <laughs> yeah, I think they're just slightly more rare. Do they dust better, or? Yeah, I think they do dust better. Like if you get like an excess shiny. That makes sense. Yeah, we got suit lion. Gain one attack when it is drawn. So it's just a three four. I mean, this actually this suit lion goes really good with dream stats strats. You just keep sending it back into your deck over and over and over again. That'd be really good. 
I might actually... There's one, there's one card I really like with Dream Stats. There's basically, like... It's called, like, Double Doll, and it has Turbo, like, deal one damage to a random enemy monster, and then when you play it, it does two damage to all damaged enemy monsters. So I can just keep on sending it back to my deck, and then every time I draw it, I deal one damage. And if I want to, I can try to go for, like, a board wipe. And he silences. Suit Lion is really, really good. I like this guy. That that That's definitely something I might add to a deck, like, built sort of around Suit Lion. Like, imagine getting Suit Lion, like, turn three, you get the dream card, you sit in a bag, and you just do that over and over again, and, like, your opponent doesn't know that you've got Suit Lion. So, like, late game, you just freaking throw out Suit Lion, and it's like, boom! <laughs> take that. I think the the only downside to Suit Lion is going to take him, like, forever to ramp up, because he only silences a card that's less than his attack. That's So you're going to have to do it, like, a bunch of times. So he's not he's like good a... for like silencing like maybe Timmy's, but then that's maybe about it. He's You're gonna have to ramp him up for anything more. Yeah, he's probably he's like you build him up and you can use him later. He he's not really like a better scarf mouse, but he's a good thing to use instead of a scarf mouse, especially because like a lot of taunt cards have bad attack stats, so like he could help you with that, I suppose. With a good get rid of a taunt I'd like for the you. card much better if as if it was like part of his turbo where he silences a random card with his attack instead of it was like having to play him, but then he might be too busted. Yeah, that is true. And we got Night Knight. I wanna make a knight based deck. Well this guy isn't actually technically a knight, actually now that I see it. But I would like to make a knight based deck, because the knights actually synergize really well. That are like a plant deck when I can get more of those. After this attacks and survives, heal this by the amount of damage dealt. That is good. I like Night Knight. That is, that is really good. Oh. I. Night Knight is really good. I might actually add him. He's really expensive, but I think for what he does, this is good. This is this is a good replacement for something else. Um, Fly. Charge. We love a good charge card. Attack the monster in front of this. So if it survives, you get to just attack again. The way I've seen it used is charge is basically haste, but you can attack the player. So I just have people always slapping me with a fly, and then they pass turn, and the fly will kill what's in front of it. That is, that's pretty that's good. Over. It's kind of like a... So I use it to aggro. Yeah, that that is really good. And we got water sausage. Water sausage, I mean, all the plants. Oh, I wish I had flowey. I want Flowey so bad. He seems so good. Like, super OP. Because Flowey turns in, like, he dies, then he turns into another enemy, and then he dies, and he turns into another enemy, and he does that, like, over and over again. I want Flowey so bad. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the, uh, the new cut Flowey card? I, I did. I did see it in the Discord that, that his, oh my God. that, that meme is so cursed, I hate it. And I love it. <laughs> that card's ability is so cursed. Like, if your opponent has, like, a full board, and then you have an empty one, you just play it and get, like, three flowers. <laughs> and then they all have their effect pop up when they die. It's just like, bruh. Oh, my goodness. I, I need him. <laughs> Attack to three and HP to two. Interesting card. I mean, this is pretty good. You, you use this on a strong card. Oh, and it's Kindness. Oh, this is going to be mega good for my Kindness deck. I always yeah, have a... that's my favorite card in Kindness. I, I mean, always have a problem with people, like, pulling out really big cards that I can't deal with as a Kindness deck. But this, I mean, that's going to that's gonna save my butt one of these times. I, I wish I had that other Kindness card that does damage and heals you for it. The, um, the Mold Big, I think, spell. But that, that's definitely a keeper. <laughs> <gasps> Soothing again! Oh yeah, baby! Oh, that's good. Suit Lion, Jerry, ugh. <laughs> and Memory Keeper. Is that a monster's HP to 2? I don't even know if Memory Keeper is like a canon card, because I don't remember. Oh, that's- that's- I don't remember that enemy. That's definitely not canon. I- I've played Undertale recent enough to know Memory Keeper- <laughs> Memory Keeper is not real. I don't know what he's from. But he's definitely not an Undertale. I mean, like, look at that art style. That is not... That's not Timmy or Toby's. 
My favorite, like, non-canon card is it just, like, this giant, like, mold god thing. I, I, I think it's called Mega Mold or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Has any... Is there a Prunzel card yet? No, but there should be. There should at least be alt art. Of it. Instead, of, <laughs> instead of Papyrus, it's just, like, a giant eye. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's added Prunzel, because he just pops up randomly all the time and, like, everywhere. You can't escape Prunzel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Memory Keeper. I don't like him, though. I'm gonna say it right now. I don't like giving the enemy dodge. Because <laughs> that sounds too good. But it does set their HP to two, like, like kindness does. Or that is true. It, like, sets their stat really low. That is true. So if you, like, swing at it, and then you use a spell, it'll insta-kill it. That because that makes the dodge go away, and it does two damage. Well, yeah. It well to the highest HP enemy monster. So if the other, uh, if the, if the enemy oh, doesn't the have highest. anything, only if the enemy doesn't have anything else on the board. So like in that specific circumstance, then it would be useful. But otherwise, it's like, eh. Yeah, memory keeper. Yeah, it's like a really weird card. Yeah, he, <laughs> you don't make any sense, memory keeper. <laughs> it. The, the specific circumstance you'd want to use it against someone, it's like, I don't know. Eh. It's really weird, is what it is. Mm. If you had a bunch of spiders, it wouldn't be so bad, I suppose. Then Memory Keeper wouldn't be terrible. You, you do it, and then you put down two spiders, you kill one, and you do the other one. Golden Flowers. And that could be like a thing to get rid of something really dangerous. Look at two random different non-token spells. And uh, you played this game and choose one to add to your hand. You played. That's not bad. I like running kindness and then running like three soothings and playing golden flower and then getting a soothing back and then that's just like my <laughs> removal for the entire game. Oh, that is great. I always do pie, but like most of the time like, I get too many pies. I just get so many pies. My hand is filled with pie and jevil, and it's like, these are my only two cards that have no use being in my hand half the time. <laughs> and the, and it always ruins me. I've, I've, I've lost so many games from just drawing bad, because I get, like, the two pies at the beginning of the game and jevil. One game for my, like, I mulliganed my cards and whatever, and I started with two pies and jevil. And it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> oh, it was the worst. Statue. Devil likes pie. <laughs> but pie, early game when I just started playing, pie was like, oh my god, this is OP. I can I can wreck everyone with pie. You can't kill my strong cards, but uh, once you know you get late game or you're fighting a determination deck, you're uh, <laughs> it's not as oh, good. Yeah, with the knives. Yeah. That are like justice because they have headshot too. So th there are some, there are like a few, there's a, there's a deck or two that does not go well with pie strats. Especially because if the opponent could just deal enough damage in one turn, like you can't heal that because they're, they're, if they're dead. <laughs> Learn more cards, game taunt. Papyrus statue. It's interesting. I don't... I, I'm not a big fan of cards that have special consist, uh, special conditions that are so specific. Because it... I don't know. I don't like building... I don't like uh, just hoping like that it'll work out. You know? It's just not how I play most of these games. Disarm. Can't attack. Armor. Oh. That's pretty, that's, it's kind of useful. And we got Energizer, which is, I mean, this is pretty useful. <laughs> I, <laughs> Energizer, so good. I like I've that. had people mess me up with Energizer before. Oh, and Strafe. Like Energizer and Strafe. Someone had a Justice deck where, like, I just kept putting stuff out, and they're just like, Energizer, Strafe, Energizer, Strafe, Energizer, Strafe, and they just kept killing everything I put out. <laughs> And then they headshotted anything big I brought. 
So, like, they just killed all my small monsters with Energizer and Strafe, and then they killed all my big monsters with Headshot. And I'm like, oh my, stop! <laughs> that was, like, the worst Justice deck I've ever played against. Because Justice's ability is really bad. It's just, like, its spells are like, oh my goodness, stop, please. Phone box for Snail. Nothing special other than Strafe there. Dogony. I'd, I'd like to get more of these uh, Amalgamate cards. At least more Memory Heads, because Memory Head is just sort of a better Froggit. So he's a good, he's a good uh, beginner card to use at the beginning of your game. You just fill up your board and, you know, the enemy doesn't have much they can do about it. Um, other than Strafe, I guess, would sort of be useful, but even then it's not going to finish him off. Uh, yeah, I would definitely want more of these. They're all such fun cards. I had that one deck where I used I to grab Reaper Bird and then Reaper Bird to grab Final Froggit and then Final Froggit to buff Froggit. Yeah, you freaking wrecked me with that one. The goofy. And Dogony's, yeah. Those guys are really good. Um, Janitor, my brother used Janitor because uh, he was doing a big buffing deck. He had Column, Janitor, whatever. He had gotten it. Um, and it kind of works out. Column's definitely way OP. I, I I need Column so bad. Because didn't you use Column against me the other day? Yeah, Column's busted, like, 100%. And it's like, at first, it's it got, it's like a weak taunt card that you buff a card, but then when it dies, it becomes like a 4-2 haste card that still buffs another card. Like, oh, it is, it is not fair. <laughs> and then freaking, oh, yes, I got another memory head. I've been I've been wanting another memory head, more memory heads because they they just they're just really good early game cards. I love memory head, uh, Froggit trio that's pretty good, two Froggits, and it only costs four so you get, and then you get another card on top of that that's minus one cost, so like, Froggit trio is kind of OP. It, it's definitely worth the money is what it is. It's better than having. It's good, but I wouldn't say as good as Spiderweb. That's true. Someone shredded me with a Froggit deck once. I think that was the... Yeah, I forget who it was, but um, they shredded me with Froggit Trio, and they just kept using Froggit Trio and, like, filling the board, and I was like, oh my god, there's so many Froggits. <laughs> and they were just... <laughs> there was too many frogs. I was getting wrecked. And we got Crazy Bun. I don't like Crazy Bun. It's three damage randomly spit amongst other monsters. It's just... I don't know. I get it's cheaper. Yeah, I've never used that card, and I never plan to use that card because it's such a weird card. Fuku Fire and... Um, uh, Volcano, Vulcan, are just kind of better versions of this. They have more HP. They deal about the same amount of damage while you can target it better. Like... Crazy, like, Crazy Bun is really only useful against stuff like Red Snail. Like, you can take out three snails all in one go, or maybe a Timmy, I suppose. It would also be pretty useful, but, like, Heat's Flamesman is already just... Kind of does that better than this card, too, so... I don't know. I mean, like, and it's like you can't play that card if you have, like, a... The bigger board, like, the less effective it is, because it can, like, friendly fire you. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice it's all monsters. Yeah, that's, yeah, that, it definitely isn't very good. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why you'd ever want to use Crazy Bun. <laughs> Ooh, we got a, I don't know, whatever the blue is. <laughs> Magic Lantern. If you have four cards in your dust pile, burn four of them to deal three damage. Now, this is pretty useful. This is pretty good, especially if you Already don't. Already better than the. Or whatever. Yeah, especially if you're not running a deck that can get cards back out of your dust pile, it's like, why not use this? Like, it, that's just really good. Oh, and another waterfall sign. Gosh dang it, just give me gemstones already, so I can actually use the waterfall sign. <laughs> I mean, it still gives you two gemstones when it dies, but like, come on. But yeah, Magic Lantern, definitely something you could add. The only thing is it, it does three damage, which is, like, the same as Fuku I mean, it does Fire. say 
not just not generated by waterfalls. So if you have another card that generates one, then it'll still oh. work. So that other card that you pulled, you can now use those two together. Oh yeah. I didn't notice that. Oh, that is good. I can actually use a gemstone deck. That's actually cool. Okay. Nice. With the stalagmites that I'm gonna shred someone with that. I just know it. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we got Candy Dish. I mean, it's it's a nothing card. It's three, two, six. Pretty pretty good. But a little basic, you know. <laughs> nothing crazy. I got the IC mascot. You're screwed. You can't use your tricks against me anymore. <laughs> nah, it's not actually. It, it it it's good against one thing. You put this out and then like. You need the you need the purple mascot. Gosh dang it! I forgot. <laughs> I already have IC mascot. Oh, dang it! I got too excited too fast. We got Sadmobile, it's our card. If you spent seven gold last turn, give it minus two cost. That's pretty good, especially late game. I could play Jevil, and then the next turn I could play Sadmobile, and then next turn I have a better, uh, better choice, uh, like a better whatever. That's that's definitely like a late game cost. Th a car, car mm. <laughs> that's a late game card though. You gotta survive at least like seven turns for it to be useful, but that could be pretty useful. It's like, cause it's, it's still a four seven. That that's nice. Um, space stickers. I love loop cards. I can't get enough of loop cards. These are like, oh, I love them so much. It's just two cards for the cost of one. Well, technically not for the cost of one, but you know what I mean. With a with a tribe in your hand, plus one plus one. Oh, that's actually really good. Space stickers because it's just any tribe, so you don't have to have any tribe synergy anyway with it either. You just kind of, if you have a card that's good with it, you do. That is really good. I like that. We got flood girl, dodge. It gains taunt. Pretty useful if you. I mean, yeah, that is pretty good. Blood Girl's a decent taunt card. I could actually play against that since I've got a lot of buffing stuff. Boom, bam, bam, bam. Oh, Campfire. That's the thing I got. Among all ally monsters, give three random monsters plus one plus one in your hand. This is pretty good. This is another one I might add. I mean, the heal is like, that's nothing. That's that's garbage. That's, that's, that's not going to do much for you at all. But, oh, the buff? Three plus ones, that's a plus three, basically. A plus three plus three. Blowing Ravik. Oh! Whenever you cast a spell, cost you one or more. This, this is someone... There's this other crazy kindness card. I think it's like purple rarity, but it's like a draw three cards and give them all plus three HP. It's oh like my. Kind of busted. That is really good. You got a taunt. It's like Susie's ultimate heal. <laughs> you got a freaking taunt deck and you could just wreck house with that. That is... That is good, man. Ball person, happy. But yeah, I'm excited about Blowing Rabbit because I saw, I saw Blowing Rabbit. Um, oh, and Hathi, actually. Hathi's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I saw Hathi Blowing Rabbit. Hathi is crazy in any aggro deck. Yeah. I've I had Hathi just like messed me up. She like buffed Timmy's out the roof. Yeah, I might, depending on my deck, I might actually add Hathi. That's pretty good. We're getting some good cards today. <gasps> Stickman! Is, is this the is this the guy? Magic. If you have an enemy monster, minus three attack. That's that's good. Delay. It's dead. A dancing stickman. Yes. I I wanted I wanted stickman because I saw someone use stickman and I was like, oh, I love that guy. <laughs> what is dancing stickman from? Is this is this from the so sorry fight or something? I think it's like from one of the billboards in Delta Rune, like one of the like images on the oh. side that just pop up. Yeah, no, that makes more sense. I think I remember that actually. Cafe table's pretty good. I like cafe table. If I had a more tanky card that didn't have taunt, my cafe table would be even better. Like right now, it's just kind of useful. But like, if I had an even tankier card, like I like that would be really good. Remove negative effects also means I can take away silence, and then like 
Oh yeah, which and can it, help the con out sometimes. Yeah, it like cafe table is super good. As soon as I got cafe table, I knew like that's got to go in my deck. <laughs> it's just like you like get if a... somebody like silences like night night, you can give night night taunt and undo the silence. So then when he attacks, he heals again. Oh my god, that is good. Yeah, I knew this was good, but like. Oh, that is really good. Because it only costs three gold, and you can make a card of your choosing that's on the board already, of course, a taunt. Like, that is so good. You need a taunt? It's right here. Uh, Crit Soul in your hand. Do three damage to a monster. This is very specific. It would go kind of good with Bone Box, I guess, but otherwise it's, I don't know. This is like, why not just use Fuku Fire? There are so many cards like this that's just like, why not use Fuku Fire or just use Vulcan? <laughs> They're simpler. You start the you start with three of them, and you, they they have more HP and stuff tipi and like damage, so like they're kind of just more useful in that regard too. They just cost a little more. Like I don't know. <laughs> One, do do boom. <laughs> Worm infusion with the same stats. I don't, I don't see the. I don't see the use of wor start turning your enemies into worms, unless it heals me and not the opponent. I mean, there, cause like I've seen somebody use it on a card that has like a negative effect but high stats, and they turned it into a worm, so it just has the high stats, and then it heals uh, when it attacks. Oh, you and you could use it against you could technically use it against your enemy if your enemy has like I don't know Spamton on the board, turn him into a worm. It's basically a silence card. But I don't know why yeah. it, at that point just have a silence card. But it is good to use against yourself, I guess. Um, chest, kind of useful. It's just kind of there. Early game to get you more cards. Um, or, you know, if you're doing toilet strats. Um, one gold for every generated monster in your hand. Have, have a token card with a base cost. Three plus gold in your hand. Make a feather store to your hand. Deals one damage to all enemies. Again, I I don't know. What what do you think about the cards that are like this? That are like you need this ultra specific thing, and then you get this other thing. I don't know. I don't like it. It feels it's good in like like one or two decks, and then that's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's so specific, and like you just kind of have to get like believe in the heart of the cards, you know, and just hope it goes well. <laughs> I mean, it is good if you have a deck where you can get the Gastro Blaster, you can immediately use that. And then Feather Duster is a good card because it, it counts as, like, it has stats, but then it kind of acts like a spell as well. Ah, that is true. I guess that, yeah. If you build around it, it's probably, I got two mirrors, a shiny mirror and a regular mirror. That's actually cool. And, and Pippin, yes. Pippin's pretty good. I like Pippin. He's just good to have. Just get more cards for free. And if you send Pippin back to your deck with Dream or whatever, it's just, you can get more cards later. <laughs> it, it's definitely good for, like, a Rush or a Toilet deck. I just, I just like Pippin. <laughs> Especially because he was never used to Deltarune. This freaking random enemy, is he's in Deltarune, but they, they, they just, they act like, oh, he's always been there. Even though you can't see a single Pippin in the entirety of Chapter 1. And they just show up at the end to fill up the roster. <laughs> it's like, I find that so funny. <laughs> it's just like, wh who are those? A and like in every le Let's Play of Deltarune, at the end of Chapter 1, everyone's like, what, what, what? Who 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 are those? I've never seen those. <laughs> when they come, it's to... like that one meme in like the first Puss in Boots movie where like freaking uh, Humpty Dumpty was like, "I was always there," and then it shows all the shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is exactly like that. Freaking, 
and and then and then they just go on like <laughs> like it's nothing it it it's and it's very are are pippins supposed to be ace cards like what even are the pippins supposed to be because the rudins are already the diamond enemy so like <laughs> cuz the pippins are diamonds too it's like they're already taking up the space of another enemy <laughs> Everything about the Pippins is, <laughs> is like, what the, what, what are you? Mirror's pretty good. I like Mirror. You play that, you use it. And I got a shiny, I got two Mirrors. That's good. Got Milk Looker. Moving on. Yes. <laughs> Sands. <laughs> no. Sand. <laughs> Not Sands milk. <laughs> okay. That is. That's cursed. <laughs> You'd have to convince me this is not an April Fool's card. Freaking Sands Milk. Oh, that's funny. I like that. I kid you not. That is an actual, an actual drama card. If you can't. <laughs> that is. Oh my. That is really good card though. Give a monster one dodge. I mean, for two costs, that's really good. And then Milk Looker already has a if dodge. If he keeps using the Sands Milk on Milk Looker and Milk Looker never dies, he technically has infinite dodge. Oh my goodness, you're right. I, I didn't even... That is really good. I might I might add Milk Looker to a deck. That is... I mean, I already was thinking about that because Sands Milk is pretty good. You put that on a Taunt card. I mean, that's useful. Um, We got Casual Guard. I already have that. We got the old summon a 1-2 smolder cake, spend up to 2 gold to give it plus 1 plus 1 for each gold spent. So you can give it, so you can summon a, so for, so for 5 gold, you can summon a 4-2 top chef and a 3-4 smolder cake with candy that's not bad that's not bad it yeah that, that's not terrible we got cyber balloon again well forever generating monster in your hand yeah this would be good with the with the um with the gemstone build too because you get a lot of generated gemstones out of it and you just get a bunch more gold you only use it once though it looks like Oh no, you spend one gold to trigger this effect, actually. That's that's OP. Actually, that's really good. You spend one gold, you get two gold back. As long as you have two generated cards, I guess. <gasps> Shiny! <gasps> we got Carousel! Woo! Jevil time! I'm gonna make a freaking Jevil deck. <laughs> Just Jevil. <laughs> and more and Jevil based cards. <laughs> Do one damage to all monsters. If any died, trigger this effect again. I love Carousel. I, I don't know if there's I don't think I've ever gotten a good use out of carousel, but this like this could be really good. You just freaking boom 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 boom. I once had someone get my like card stat to like one two three four, and he used carousel to board wipe, and I was like, bruh. <laughs> yes, I think someone did that to me too, or I did that to someone because I think you can use carousel if you use Jevil. I think it's one of the things you can use. One of his uh, chaos weapons, I think. I might be remembering that wrong. But, uh, yeah, Carousel is super nice. Sad mobile. Plus, it's just a two cost, one damage to everyone. Like, overall, this is just a useful card. I mean, it hurts your guys too, I guess. So, you gotta be a little careful with how you use it. But, like, I mean, that's good. Summon Pippis. I mean, that's good. Turn in. Spin two gold. Summon Pippis. Summon two Pippins. Or summon a Pippins. Yeah. Five, five, five. That's pretty good. For what it is. Ugh. Another one of these cards. Your deck has no non-generated rare or epic cards. 
I mean, that's not so hard. My brother used Starwalker because he didn't. He he never pulled any rare or epic cards, so he just added it to his deck. Set a card in your hand to your deck with minus four cost, and like, eh, like this could be good, but like, the fact you can't use it with any rare or epic cards makes it a little not as good. But if you if it you do have a generated rare or epic, that's kind of good. That's kind of better. It's definitely fun, er, than some of the other ones. Okay, we got Fan Rudin. That's good. I really like Fan Rudin. I might, actually, I might replace a Snow Drake with Fan Rudin. That's that's a lot better. Plus one, plus two. That's really good. I see magic. Bag of goodies. Another gemstone one. Ha 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 ha. Two HP to you and add a shield to your hand. This is so good. I just got like the all the gemstone deck needs. I'm gonna like. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. As damage randomly spit amongst among all enemy monsters. Attack. Again, this has a similar problem to the other one. Like if you buff this a bunch, sorta useful, but otherwise it's like eh, whatever. Especially because it's like a magic, it's a one-time use. <gasps> Flying heads, it's that stupid thing everyone uses against me. <laughs> and wrecks me with. <laughs> I saw you using that against me the other day. <laughs> Fucking stupid <laughs> Flying heads. Uh, and I meant to... That card's so good. <laughs> yeah. I meant to silence it too. And it's a charge? Like, oh my goodness. But like, I just couldn't get... I couldn't get... I couldn't use mouse head. You, you, yesterday, you had, like, oh, it was the, that one card that kills itself when you attack. I had a silent mouse. I had just pulled it, but my board was filled with four cards, so I couldn't, I couldn't play the dang hatted mouse. If I had just not filled my board with memory head, I would have freaking been able to stop you, and I probably would have won. That's what I meant when I said I probably would have won if I played more safe. Uh, I, from now on, I'm always keeping a, a space open for freaking hat mouse. <laughs> Attacks and kills a monster at Zephyr to your hand. Uh, 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 enemy oh, monster. Oh my gosh. That is really good, actually. Yeah, you're right. Got casual guard, two... Eh, sort of useful. And then we got Milk Looker again for Sans Milk. Finally, we have made it through all the packs. I've opened them all. It only took how long? An hour. <laughs> ah! No. <laughs> ah! Took me an hour to open 23 packs. I am, I talk too much. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Well, we can finally play the game now, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you want to uh, uh, make the lobby? Yeah, wait, give me a sec. Because, unfortunately, it's since it's been an hour, I probably should refresh the recording. So... Sorry, everyone on YouTube. You just watched me open <laughs> packs for an hour. Uh, well, I'm gonna say that's what it is. <laughs> but, um, I guess, see for tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to see me actually fight Gaster Explains. Uh, say goodbye to YouTube, I guess. Gaster Explains. <laughs> uh, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> And bye-bye.